welcome back. This is episode two of Bail to Glory. Um, we're gonna start with an 82 triple because it just reset today. Um, I'm really not gonna worry about the objective side of things. Um, yeah, we're gonna play the rest of the games in the cup. I'm currently at seven wins. We need to get three more. Um, the only other thing in this video is going to be what my tactics have been. We talked about the formation, or you saw the formation um, last video, and I want to talk about the tactics. I've been loving them. I know a lot of people have different tactic videos out there. This is just what I like. Somebody made a comment on the last video. Um, ooh, we do get a walkout, so this could this could be decent. Oh, it is. It's going to be uh, Odegaard. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um... Right now, our cam is uh, Danny Almo, but I wish, I really wish Odegaard had a three-star weak foot. Like, I just, I don't, I don't really see it, like, in real life, you know, but um, we are going to send both to duplicate storage because we have so many, so many options. Um, we can't show off Odegaard because I need to have, uh, obviously, a lower team for friendlies, but there's going to be no cuts for this uh, until the gameplay. Uh, I don't... I don't know. We'll, 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 t we'll probably talk about why we play, because there's going to be a ton of, you know, if, buts, and, you know, maybes. But um, So this this is our team that we're running right now. Obviously, we have Celia, who plays up top, and uh, Carvajal. We have um, Jonathan Ta, obviously can't use them here but let me go into the team management tab i have one tactic it's on default what i'm using now i don't enjoy as much as what it was before but this is the tactic sorry it's on custom counter i think it's the best especially with um especially with wide wingers that plays inside forwards i think it's great high um defensive approach it's on 65 i don't want it too too high up um because some of these over the top through balls have been killing me um rolls inside forward on both of my wingers um i think i'm gonna have like play to the strength of this fciq thing um danny almost on playmaker you could play him as a second striker but my other midfielders in fernandez and garcia are too defensive to have one of them on um roaming i tried garcia on roaming so he can move forward a little bit more and maybe have almo as a shadow striker that's why poro is played as a wing back um Gavardiol, gomez and tadibo are all on defense i don't know if any of them have defense plus and i think gomez is the only one that else can play left back so i might switch them around not sure uh rain is on default and then um Havertz is on advanced forward, but when Celia, I think it's Sasich, I think that's maybe how you say it, she's got target forward plus plus, which helps both my wingers get involved more, like it really lets them cut inside, and a lot of the time, I'll just play it on balance so she doesn't move left to right, and it also gives Danny Amo a little bit more room um, as a playmaker, but those are the tactics. Um with the ball it almost plays like a three back ish not really but you know Gavardio is still on the left but then we have Garcia dropping a little bit lower Hernandez is kind of making those over the top through balls a lot to Felix or switching play to Poro um but yeah that's what we're gonna run we're gonna get into the cup we'll have I think another 80 an 83 by two at the end of it and maybe some other packs um and then yeah just gameplay so that's all you're gonna see for this video That's beautiful play. Beautiful play by Yamal. Yeah, this guy's going to be out. It's a pleasure to be here, and I'm anticipating a good game today. The coach. Nice. Good play. Didn't read it. Crivella. Beautiful. Beautiful, this guy's out of here. One more win. Enzo Fernandez. I have it. Nice Havertz. Perfect play. Perfect play. And this guy's gonna leave. Like these golden gold guys are crazy. 
we got a red card in the second game, and I didn't have a center back, so I got I just left. And then third game two nothing. This game one nothing. I'll take I'll take that. Right, we're gonna start off with just this two player pack. We do get a little uh, little animation, which is cool. DM France Prem. Oh, Camara. No. Oh, yeah. Wow, this picture looks so different from FC24. 75 by 5. We get a walkout from it. I'll take that. Declan Rice, please, please let me replace. Yeah, that's so, so nice. 87, Declan Rice. That is phenomenal. What a terrible pack outside of that, but holy... That's perfect because he's got holding plus plus. So I know Enzo Fernandez is great because he's got long ball, but that is, yeah, that's phenomenal. 77 by 7. Could get another walkout. We don't. Oh, it's uh, Sorloff. That's unfortunate. That's going to be a bad pack. That's going to have nothing in it. Yeah, no, nothing. 83 by 2 gives us nothing. I think it's... No, it's not from the Women's League. Who's this? Asp... Aspects? Yeah. Chip Shot Plus is just... Such an unusable... Unusable playstyle plus. But, you know, nonetheless, I guess if he had a little bit more pace, you could say he's usable. But, um, yeah, so... That's kind of going to be the end of the video. It was going to be a short one. We didn't really have any. We had no Evo today. We had one SBC. So hopefully hopefully tomorrow we get a new Evo. I do need to start working on stuff. But I have I really enjoyed playing this, uh, this kind of false back we got going on here. Um, but yeah, other than that, I guess I'll show you the code um, if I can. I don't even know how to show it. Is it. Can you even see it on a default tactic? Oh, no way. Dang, you can't. So, um, I guess if you just want to take a photo of this right here. Um, yeah, you want to take a photo of this. If you want to use it, try it out. That's great. You could also use your other DM not in the deep line playmaker role. I just have that because Poro presses up as a wing back. Um, so I feel like he's just an option for him. Uh, but yeah, other than that, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I think friendly matchmaking is something that's going to be really, really nice this year. Like you're just going to be able to free play and not have to worry about what division you're in. That was something big last year on the RTG was not getting into a high rivals division because one rewards weren't good and two it wasn't worth you know sweating games when all i had to do was auto qualify for champs so that's gonna be something for an entirely another video um hopefully this by the end of this week we'll have enough points uh, i do need to play more rivals games but yeah that's the team that's the tactics and that was uh, the pack so looking forward to using odegaard uh probably gonna switch the team up a little bit yamal's good but you know, he's going to be a lot better once an Evo comes. And then, you know, having uh, incisive pass plus in the midfield, I think, will be unbelievable uh, at an early stage of the game. So, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know uh, what you guys want to see with this video. And um, when we get into our first kind of, I guess, main team build, um, I'm going to break down what the series is going to look like, kind of like the Bale to Glory is more attainable, um, you know, getting around, you know, team of the year. Uh, so we have a little bit of a ways to go. Obviously, Bale's about three and a half million. Um, but once a promo comes out where Bale gets a card, his, you know, base card is going to go down. And it's basically going to be how, like, good of a base Bale we can get and then work Evos in and around that from Tottenham and from Real Madrid. But that'll be a an entirely separate video um, that we will talk about it. So yeah, hope you have a good rest of your day. Have a good one.